three. And we're live. And we're live. Hi, Joe. What's up, Jerem? How you doing, bro? Uh, you know, it's a Wednesday. I like doing it. I like doing the stream Wednesday, but it's like the, the middle of the week is you're feeling the drag. If you're feeling if you're feeling the drag, you're feeling the drag by Wednesday for sure. I watched your Dune trailer reaction. Oh, thanks, bro. And I wanted to start a little fight. Mm. Okay. Since when have you like I uh, do you know how hard it was for me not to make a video reaction on your reaction video? Mm. Well, because again, yeah, like I said right. last stream, is like you're full of surprises, Mr. Baggins. Mm. Correct. I've known yeah. you for how long? Um, uh, I, I can't do the math. 20 years? Never in those years. Have, I don't know. That's why I asked you to come up with a number. Um, yeah. <laughs> so all Is those that years, I've Bud's? never... Bud's in? All right, cool. So. I've never known you to have ever read... Talked about, mm -hmm. watched anything about Dune. Interesting. In your reaction video, though, you seem to have read the books. Um, I've only read. Uh, well, here's the, here's. Let me explain. Because you're <laughs> correct. Uh, it's kind of like I remember. Um, some people claim that. Jesus. You know, maybe they pose. They're like a poser, but this is not the case. However, I will come clean and say that. Uh, <laughs> My Dune knowledge is limited. However, I, I well, here's what happened was I tried to read Dune years and years ago, and it was beyond me. It's a different read. Right. And then I really tried like seven years ago and got farther. Mm -hmm. uh, saying the feed is very erratic. Off and on, off and on. Hmm. Could be him. Could be. Let me check this out. Hold on. Let me take. Oh, if it's Bud, up. it's Bud. Who are you talking about? And guys, I'm just pulling his leg here. Oh, it's okay. I'm, 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 that, that's all I'm doing. I'm just pulling his leg. I'm trying to add to, to the drama. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't I'm know good. much more about Dune than he does. I remember watching. Wait, did you? Have you I, read I've seen. I've seen the original movie. I saw the remake. Oh. Re, you know, but no, I didn't read the book. So oh, I just I, wanted to. I made, I made but I have movie. read Lord. I have read Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and The Silmarillion. I I have done that and you a lot of other. Books. I'm a reader, I, and not just with Tolkien. I've read some other stuff too. So my point is. Um, Oh, I, oh, Brian I, Jacks I, in the Redwall series. It does not get enough credit. So any of you guys oh, that, oh, oh the Redwall series, dude. Woo. However, everybody gets the uh, everybody gets a bad rap sometimes, like for not reading or reading. And uh, check it out. All right. Well, I got to get the started way, drawn if I'm going to do that. Oh, okay. Keep talking. Yeah. Keep talking. You want me to uh, stream you? Uh, uh, yeah. Go ahead, my. Yeah, but my dog's here. He says hi, everybody. He's yeah, kind of chilling in the back. He's like, "What's going on, Dad?" I want to get part of this. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So everybody says uh, hi. Who's yeah, because I don't, I don't see the. I'm not yeah, so, streaming. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. Oh, uh, okay. hold on, because we're in private chat. Click the comments. What's up, Rick? So. Well, but yeah, uh, uh, Reese, cool. Here's my secret to uh, to reading Dune. Um, for those who have not read, uh, the secret to reading Dune. Let me do this for you. Hold on. It's kind of a. There's a secret to reading the Silmarillion as well. Okay, yeah, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to know because um, it's like a history, but it's very dense and it's very right. So my secret. Yes, finally moved in. Share. Um, so you know, how's Sonny doing? I don't know. I've never seen. <laughs> so never seen check out. the way I do it is one, I do a book. <laughs> I read the book and I also um, listen to it at the same time. So okay, yeah, 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 both yeah. sides of the brain. Uh, any any books that's kind of like dense in your heart, trying hard to get through it. Oh, audio book is a way to go. It's two thousand twenty. Well, 
it's 2020. The, the key is in 2020, you need to do both for yeah. me. That's how yeah. I do it. I remember things better when I can imagine them on my own. Uh, like, so I read the Da Vinci code in one day, the entire book. Hmm. Uh, that's the only book I ever read all the way through in one day. And because of it, my, the, the visions I had in my head are, are potent, you know? Uh, but then the movie comes out and now all of a sudden I see Tom Hanks doing everything waiting for Wilson to pop around a Da Vinci painting, you know, it's just, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but literary works are hard and Tolkien is a very dense type thing. So uh, not just Tolkien, but even Brian Jacks, Terry Brooks, things I was I would, bringing up in the last thing. I would say Jacks is an easier read than. Tolkien. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. By, by, by that That's and just the broad spectrum. I would say. It's tough because I've read, I've read, I think, Fellowship and Two Towers. I did not read Return of the King. Um, Dune is that's when the Mordor like stuff is in there. That's the that's the cool stuff. I know I was really fond of Two Towers. Um, yeah, 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 for sure. What are you drawing a rose? What are you? Yeah, oh, uh, you yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, let's. Uh, did you get to see the uh, Mandalorian? Second season trailer? Did you have to see that? Um, to no, but uh, go ahead and tell me because you know what I'm waiting to talk about. Okay, well, I mean, there's not much to tell except since we're art bros, I was going to bring up. Um, maybe I can find some some stills. Let me open up a window and find some stills because the the color. You know what? Are you okay with lighting up the comment section? What do you mean? There's all kinds of like the only thing about the Mandalorian second season, all I'm hearing is just how one of the actresses are causing uproars with stuff. That's the oh, oh, yeah, yeah no, no. I don't care. You talk okay. about talking no, no, about. no, no. I just I mentioned it. That's all. <laughs> so all right. If comment section wants to go into it, go for it. Don't you know, don't I, dude? It. I that's all I, I know. I never about care. Uh, I never care about what people. Um, yeah, that's all I know about it, though. Right now. Well, no. So our our art bro. Yeah, the image you used with with like right. Baby Yoda that's using not Scrubby. From, that's like not even from the second season. However, the yeah. second season trailer, I highly suggest you could check it out because it's. Um, I feel like the color on it is way better than the first season. The everything about it is just more vibrant. Um, I think they figured out something like, oh, maybe we shouldn't desaturate absolutely everything. I got to um, get Kenton into this stream because he keeps hitting my Facebook card. It's making ding, ding, dings. Hmm. Yeah, get him in the, the comments over here. Yeah, I got to. Keep, uh, All right, let me see. Your, your link let me is try, Let me see if I can play this trailer. Okay, yeah, go ahead and do that. I'm going to try to get him on. I will also describe what I thought about it. Um, Uh-oh. It definitely was a cool uh, little glimpse at what's to come, but it's it wasn't given away a lot either. So I would almost even call it a teaser. It wasn't there wasn't much about story or anything like that. So I can't copy the link to the actual YouTube stream. Hold on, I'm going. I'm on YouTube. I'm working on it. You keep going. Sorry, my bad. Okay, let's do this. Um, I don't know if my internet's going to be capable of playing it, but we'll, we'll try it. Let's, let's try it right Go now. For it. Let's see. Mando trailer. <laughs> I like how everybody calls it just Mando. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Isn't there a FET? Doesn't FET show up? Does FET show up? Yeah. Um, I didn't see that. Uh, maybe I didn't okay, see that. Hold on, hold on. I'm sending the link to Kenton so he can stop hitting me up about UFOs. For yeah, what's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Scoots is in. Where's she, where's she show up? Hold on. Oh, there she is. What's up? What's up? Okay. Thanks, thanks for showing up, everybody. It's been great. All right, yeah. So go for your trailer. We're going. Let's try to share the screen. Screen one, go. 
uh, means that we're going to drop you for a second. Are you that's okay. That's it? okay. I'm just going to keep getting my base sketch going. You just go ahead. Cool. All right. So this is the trailer, but uh, I don't even know if it's going to play sound because I don't know how StreamYard works all this stuff. I don't hear any audio. I know nothing playing yet. Let's just oh, give okay. it a play and see what happens. I'm sorry if you're hearing my tap, tap, taps of sketching. Hmm. Is it playing okay for you guys? I don't know. It's playing, just no audio on my side, bro. No audio on that side? Okay, yeah. so let's just on my side. the whole thing. I'm just going to skip through and show some, some keys. Yeah. yeah. So, like, this is... Got a little bit more color to it. Let me see what the uh, the coolest part that I liked. I feel like it was way in the beginning, the shot that I liked. Anyway, they've got some cool Western style shots in here. Well, a lot of people describe. I <laughs> wow. All right, all right, chat. Start to light up yet, yeah. Joe? I haven't seen the first season. Dude, okay, so why don't you just bring that up in the beginning? I wouldn't even play this. It's okay. I'm so skeptical. You need to stop reading some people and, people. and uh, <laughs> watch some Mando. Entertain the people. I'm trying to get a design down. Cool. So, yeah, the Mando trailer, I, I super um, – I'm, I'm much more hyped about this, at least the visual look of it, than the second or the, or the first season. So – Everybody is in shock. Marie says, what? You have not seen the Mando season yeah. one? Yeah. What are you? <laughs> See, I know. Oh, sorry. At least a little bit. Wrong one. Okay, so here we go, guys. Uh, what was the uh, second little bit I want to talk to you about? Oh, are you kidding me? No, keep talking. Well, no, dude, I can talk all day about Mando. Entertaining so Mando Okay, entertain the people, dude. We got we're, we're just thirteen minutes into this. Come on, all right. Talk about so, talk I don't, about. I don't really I, care much about it. It's bonanza, Star Wars style. I got gotcha. you, bonanza. What are you talking? About? <laughs> so let's see what Ken's saying. Didn't watch the trailer yet. I may not. Definitely watching the new season though. Is what he's saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. All it, right. it looks good. Yeah. Cool. Well, play the play it. Can you play? Like it? I said I tried. Um, oh, and, uh, right, right. You right, right. audio to work for it. So yeah. So bless. I'm so, on blast now for not watching season one. You should be. <sighs> it's been out a year, right? No. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's been out it's for been a, while. a year. It's been a while. Just for all of my uh, my followers for Beckend. That is the dedication you get from me. <laughs> there we go. Back to your work. Kind of trying to say something to rescue me. All right. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with not seeing the like Jack and Titanic oh. right then. And there was no rose with a freaking like cupboard for me to hold on to. Okay. So just had to let go. What? <laughs> I had to let it go. So yeah, no worries about you not watching season one. It's good. It's it's good enough to yeah. watch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much better than the movies. I think we lost a few subscribers on that whole bonanza comment, but we can move on. That's in the past. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm not worried about my favorite Star Wars stuff. Uh, yeah, paraphrase, yeah. That. paraphrase that. However, yeah. I think so too. It is uh, some of the best out there. Um, let me see here. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's so what, that's what happens. I entertain myself. Oh. Say what? Uh, but yeah, there's a. Is it just me? Here's the video blinking in and out. Wh whose video, Kenton? And it could be my turtles machine. So that's gonna cause seizures. I'm turning that off. But no, he's thinking it's blinking in and out like. Like uh, like uh, the stream in it itself. Ooh, 
That might be an issue. I don't know why I would be doing that. I'm pretty sure the recording will correct it in the end, but it sucks for everyone watching live. <laughs> One second. Let me see. I wonder if... You wonder. Maybe it's on my end. Let me double check some stuff. He's he's the Spielberg here, guys. I mean, Spielberg Spielberg can't stream. <laughs> Spielberg got no stream skills. Uh, so I uh, I'm doing this uh, new video thing for like um, reviewing games. As well as doing this art stuff. Actually, I have some of the art in the back on the on the desk back there. You do, do you? By the way, guys, yes. demo is done. What demo? My demo, Beckins demo. Oh, okay. Oh, it's uh, done. It's done. Here. It's done. Um, good. Well, if you're reviewing games, Joe. You... Well, I'm just saying. Oh, I, I got you. I, I see the tangent. I see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's all. Awesome. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's all good. Um, I'm just trying to keep my train of thought. Keep pulling me. Um, so, what was I going to say about it? See, this is what happens. Uh, so, what did you do about the game? Did you did you uh, just call on it at a certain point, or or since you hit like a milestone, or, or what? Yep, technical milestone. Did nice. you get your thought back yet? <laughs> So we were talking about, uh, well, see, now I've lost it. Uh, Star Wars, Mandalorian trailer, all that stuff. And how I haven't seen season one. And trying Well, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like there's not much else to say if you haven't seen. I can't discuss it with it. You're the only one else on stream. Well, uh, I mean, why? Because you're worried about spoilers? What, talking about season two or just talking about season one? Just or talking what? about what you saw in... I mean, I... There's not much else to talk about unless, um, you know. Oh, oh, oh. So you know because I, mean? I didn't give Disney my dollar and sign up for that stuff and sit down and watch it, I'm out of the loop, which hurts the stream. <laughs> and Jedi, yeah. Sorry, Jedi, guys. Oh. And it probably breaks Jedi's heart. I'm sorry, guys. And it does. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I've been collecting parts to make my own junk lightsaber, like the graphics, guys, but... The ones you could take apart and see the motors on the inside. So, Dude, I mean, that's going to be sweet if you actually do it. Yeah, uh, I mean, should make it, a it, it would be my second lightsaber I made. The first one I made was when I was twelve, and I made it out of toilet pipes that we bought at Home Depot. Oh yeah, there's a free trial, dude. And you can probably binge it. That's what Ken's saying. Free trial, and if not, Jedi saying seven bucks. Jeremy, suck it up. <laughs> However. <laughs> It, oh, look, the, the Disney, it. uh, it's not really worth um, much besides it. the Mando trailer to me, but or the Mando or in, uh, in general. But have you guys caught up on all your Star Trek lore? Or am what? I going to start a war? What are you talking about? <laughs> We're not Trekkies here, are we? We just keep blowing fun Star Wars. What happened to the Star Trek series? Dude. Well, I'm not a Trekkie. You, you have to go dig deep into the, the backwoods to find some Trekkies. Your brother is a Trekkie. You talk about backwoods. I know. He's backwoods as hell, man. He lives out yeah, there. In yeah, 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 yeah. But no, what if they like remaking all these movies? I bet you they're going to drop a Star Trek movie soon. I, I mean, I think it, I think they ran that to the dirt, but... I don't know. So what about this life on Venus? What you thinking? I haven't really any, read anything up on it, but I can search it right now. I have kind of had, there was someone who told me when I was 12 that that was a possibility mm -hmm. and extremophiles have been well-known knowledge for a while. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's the closest thing to saying that life on other planets exists. Yeah, I feel like I'd have to go look deep in these articles because, like, the there's a lot of these clickbaity kind of. Yeah, he is. I agree. I agree. I agree. I totally do. And they're just basing, they're just basing it off of light readings that they're getting. 
from from certain things and that's a proven way in a lot of ways but they could they are always open to be wrong and misreading stuff so okay well let me l read a little bit of what i see here uh, let me let me share my screen real quick real quick like real quick like real quick like Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. I see uh, we've detected a rare gas called phosphine yep. in the atmosphere of our yep. neighbor planet Venus. Jane Greaves, a professor of... Phosphine is very Earth. hard for us to produce on Earth, but the you know Venus is giving off that signature. Continue. Okay, Sorry, right. my, my bad. Step, my bad. Yep. You interrupt me, bro. My bad, my bad, my bad. What's that? What's a movie quote? I need to come up with a movie quote that <laughs> where uh, somebody interrupts somebody else. Oops! No, that's a Dalia-ism. We don't want to be associated with that. <laughs> I like Dalia. I did uh, too. Until what? Until what happened? Never mind. Move on. I'll, I'll, I'll fill you in right. later. Move along. Okay, I've been doing it. Uh, you're... <laughs> Controversy is a good thing. Um, let's see. So, uh, da, 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 da. and the reason for our excitement is that phosphine gas on Earth is made by microorganisms that live in the oxygen-free environments. So there's a chance that we have detected some kind of living organism in the clouds of Venus. That is uh, pretty much it in a nutshell. I guess that's like a, a leap. I don't know. I feel it like there's a lot of scientists that would probably. Okay. Well, is it a psychological thing with what the term life on other planets and what we have as humans formed in our brain over the years of uh, Independence Day, signs, all that stuff? We have this expectation that life is going to be this thing that has a brain that has neurons that thinks and forms thoughts the same way we do when actually it could just be extremophiles that are making mm -hmm. the planet grow in a certain way it's uh you know it's kind of like what my contention with star trek <laughs> is is that everything is a humanoid thing and i feel the same way with the game uh uh, uh mass effect is it just okay. you know there's this oh, expectation that things are going to be very humanoid. Now, on on par with what Beckend is representing as well, it being a totally different world and stuff like that, the Jiri are a primate thing. So it's kind of working with, it, it's not exactly primate, but it kind of works. That's why humans are kind of there too, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going right. to muddy all that lore too much. But can you guys draw space penguins? Joe, do you want to draw a space penguin? I, I, I don't have the ability to draw on screen right now. Um, oh, okay, hold on. on space penguin. Okay, hold on. So, keep talking. I'm going to do space penguin. Draw a space penguin, dude. As um, as you draw, I, I hear you and what you're saying about that's. I, I'm just saying, like, maybe um, by you saying this one thing is in the atmosphere and that could mean that on because on earth it means that it's you know, a technicality no really it's it's like a it's since a microorganism is that way on earth um it makes this gas on earth is that equivalent to how it works for venus um maybe maybe not but uh interestingly enough uh i mean it's good for speculation at the very least so i i dig it um, I wonder if there's a there's like a whole I guess microbiome that we don't know about in the clouds over there. Maybe it's there. Who knows? Great. Um, I'm not going to reveal other knowledge I may have on that because uh, Kenton's brother, older brother, has contentions on this idea that he told us when we were like 12. Contentions? Uh, let's just say dude smart scary smart as hell and has been mm. teaching english in japan for what 15 years kenton anyway he's predicted this whole thing for ever like we knew about this what nothing i can't tell you That's oh. okay so it's like a secret so yeah let's just, 
uh, a link on that one. Tell me later. It's incredible. Uh, it, it's incredible because things are happening that that just seem to be like we know about them or we knew about them. Certain science does these studies years, years ago. And mm -hmm. then it comes to the public and it boils up in our media. And, you know, I'm just saying it's like, eh, eh. That's when, <laughs> that's when I first learned about the quantum physics with the particle, the double slit experiment. Because he also, right. taught, you know, taught us. Oh, yeah. It was nuts. But, yeah, space penguin. Let's see. Yeah, should, keep keep drawing that space penguin. No, I'm done. I got. I got. I'm looking at uh, Jedi's work, and it's looking pretty good. Jedi's work is always good. Yeah, he's getting uh, some solid, solid work. Uh, you have a problem with it, Jedi? What would you? Um, you sent me this picture. What is this? Uh, what do you want me to say about it? Let me. Uh, you're saying you need a critique or something, or just wanted to get my opinion? Let me know. Um, yeah, so I, uh, before we talked about Venus, I was trying to get, uh, that I'm playing Blasphemous and I didn't even know that I could easily play the DLC. Um, I just didn't know how to get to it. You know, it works for games. You'll yep. like, you'll get the DLC. You just don't know how do you access it. A lot of times it's like hidden in. A yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. yeah something yeah. like that. Um, I this jumped time. back into it after we talked about it, so I, you what? know, oh, I, I jumped back into it after we had talked about it a few times. So yeah, keep going, keep going, keep I'm playing. Going. Uh, so, um, it's hidden within the, uh, what would you call it? The game plus mode. The, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could yeah. run through, but I didn't see where that button was because it was so hidden. Uh, part of my in my review, I, I will talk about it. I think their I think their menus are kind of crappy. Um, <laughs> that's the only thing I could say about the game that's like bad is this their menus and the fonts and like contrast is pretty bad. Um, there's a there's a bit of UI, you know, or UX, you know, code that they could tighten up a little bit. I mean, I, I would I I think it's visual, not even the not even the code. Oh um, really? I was yeah, talking. Okay, I've got, never mind. I've got a problem with the video with the visuals for the menus, but either way, obviously, I didn't see the button that I needed to press. Um, Anyway, I'm playing the hardcore mode now, um, and you know about if you, oh, so you beat game, it. Yeah, I beat it like last week. Um, oh, okay. But I am excited about uh, doing the second playthrough, seeing this DLC. I should have the video done this week and the art done probably this weekend. No, That's the plan. Man. It's looking tight. It's looking tight so far. Um, oh, I think I probably could share it. Let me, let me, let me show what I got. You're you're a lot better at platformers than, or more experienced. I, so therefore, better. Uh, that game is brutal for me because I'm so addicted to the tactical thought. But it's like that one, just like Dark Souls, kind of makes you second guess how you approach things mm -hmm. but, sure. once you, but once you get it and keep it to memory you know it it's actually it's a quite a bit a little bit easier than dark souls um yeah 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 everybody until, yeah I'm just saying until the spot i got right now and the spot i got right now um this is the reason why it's going in and out let's see here so the reason why i think um on the second playthrough, they give you an option, three options on Blasphemous. One option is that you can't heal. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. One option is uh, you get double the magic, but like it's it's uh, I think half of your damage output on your sword is like cut in half. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they give you these options, and so I doubled up on if I die, I lose all my points, kind of like Dark Soul style. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, there's like a lot of little little uh, extra things they added, which I didn't get to play through at first. Um, let me go through the comments here real quick. We're getting we're getting backed up. So Jedi wants me to check out the cape. Is that what you're saying? And then we'll get to Ken. Kenton's asking about FF16. So uh, hold on, dude. Hold Great. your tongue. Hold your tongue. We we're waiting for that. I know. Hold your tongue. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to get to a Jedi's question. Um, okay, really struggling with the cape, he says. 
I want it to kind of help me show the movement. So since he's punching toward the down right, the cape would move upwards to the left. It it looked weird when I tried it. Um, well, it looks like he's moving animation? forward. Huh? Is this an animation question? No, not an animation question. Just the uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. normal comic art. It's just a Oh, action. I know what you mean. Yeah, sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. So this action pose, uh, I can't show it on screen because I don't have it on screen. But um, since he's moving forward, I think you have it kind of correct. However, uh, whatever works for the composition, Jedi, um, sometimes it's better to go with uh, what works for the image rather than what works in real life. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what I would do. All I can say about the cape right now is it looks like it's a little over. Take JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, for example. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's probably a good um, way to put it. I think your uh, your cape is just a little over-rendered, maybe. Unless you're going to render the whole image like that, I would probably simplify the wrinkles in that cape. Um Talk about simplifying. I have to do that for this. This is a tattoo design, so there's a lot of details I got to take out of this, or they start to fudge together over time. Keep going. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what I would say, Jedi. Simplify that. Um, uh, you take another look at his forearm, even though it's it looks good. It's just a little bit off because I think you're adding an elbow where there shouldn't be an elbow. Um, I can I can talk to you later about it, but it's looking really good. I think it's I think it's definitely coming out like one of the best um, one of the best pieces I've seen you do. So, congrats. Um, I don't know how he does his color, but whoever who, taught him Jedi, whoever taught him color theory. Oh no, he gets his color done by another dude. Oh, uh, I thought he was color. He's a comic dude, man. He's a comic dude. We we spread out our our skills. Oh, uh, we uh, we specialize. Ah, uh, we specialize in comics. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, gotcha. No problem, Jedi. Uh, so let's let's move on. Uh, let's start with FF sixteen. That way, um, Jeremy doesn't leap off his seat. Um, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I keep going. Keep moving. You're digging for content. We're still only like 33 minutes into this episode, bro. Dude, Let's I'm not digging for. I'm just going through the comments. Um, the next one is Kenton talking about Batman uh, and there. What else? What else? What else? Well, above it, he says, "Heck yeah!" I told Jeremy it looks like The Witcher meets F. F I told him look like I agreed with them with the whole Witcher feel, but it also has this Devil May Cry combat feel to it with launching the enemy and combos up in the air mm -hmm. and stuff. But I do see that. Also relate that to Fifteen and the way its combat was a little bit more actioning. So mm -hmm. I'm here. I've got my own personal reaction to the whole thing because I've been following the comments or uh, I don't follow the tweets per se, but I hear the tweets that executives give out when, or, or like in interviews when they do interviews. So what the, what the most like recent final fantasy news is. So there's been rumors for going around for a few days about there being a reveal soon about final fantasy 16. So I kind of knew it was coming. Give me your, uh, give me your first take. Uh, yeah. Kind of keep it, keep it um, in, in in one sentence. Well, how would you describe it in one sentence? Just a just oh, totally gonna bring uh, totally gonna bring everybody back to Final Fantasy VI. Six? You mean yeah. three, or you really mean six? Oh, yeah, six. It, you know what I mean. Okay. Tara. Right. right. You know, that's, Kefka, that's three right now, right? Yeah, Kefka, all that stuff. You know, so the classic one. Do you think that's what it's going to be more like? It feels that way, but there's no tech in it. it and that's where I'm going to leeway or segue into what my following or, you know, the, the news has been. A few years ago, one of the execs over there at Square was asked or a question and his answer to it, I forgot the question, but his answer to it was saying, well, my vision – I would hope that for the next Final Fantasy entry to be more magic-based, no tech, 
you know, um, you know, more it, just basically the words that would say back to the classic, back to Final Fantasy Nine, but really he's going further back than that. Okay. So yeah, there is no tech that you see in in the trailer. So they were very uh, that that seemed to be excellent. So why my attention got took with it is my game Beckon deals with crystals. We call them Lodens. Mm -hmm. I was trying to go the opposite way Square was going with their franchise and going more robotic, more tech, more all this, and mm -hmm. start to go more to the or the natural side of things, back towards the planet, more primitive, more, you know, Earth-based. I like I was saying in one of those episodes, a Gaia Punk type thing. Uh, but using the idea of crystals still, because in our real world, crystals are quite amazing little things. You know, uh, their structures, uh, the vibrations, you know, uh, uh, your phone and, and watches work off of these little crystals and stuff. So it's a great, you know, way to kind of to, to develop a, a system uh, that you really want to be kind of physically, tangibly believable. Okay, so you're 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 losing me a little bit because you start talking. Right, about I'm rambling around it. So so in the interview, it kind of got me scared over how the next Final Fantasy with that direction, mm -hmm. how how close to their own franchise are they going to stay, or how far were they going to deviate? Okay, and it looks like they've taken the attitude of Final Fantasy three or six. It's got the allure of Final Fantasy 14, but they're rendering it in a PC emulating a PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. So the I uh, what we're seeing is not the best graphics that'll come out. Uh that's just yeah, I think so too. and here's a prediction they're gonna fire whoever's logo was up in that trailer before yeah, the that's pretty bad. No, no, I'm just saying they're gonna the, they're gonna kind of do what they did with uh, uh, the last people that they, uh, I forgot what was their name, and this is the bad thing about it. Uh, when, uh, they they had a team that was working on Final Fantasy VII Remake, and then midway through development, they fired them and made everything internal. So uh -huh. it seems like it's a business strategy. Sorry, Square, if I'm pulling out the secrets, but as a business way, is like you want the bulk of the game structure and everything built, outsourced, Wait, wait, so why, who's getting fired? What was the point of that? Huh? Who's getting fired, you said? Uh, there's a company's logo that pops up in the trailer. Oh, okay. And so they're outsourcing their initial bulk work. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're seeing. I uh, Like Final Fantasy VII Remake, I predict it's a business strategy that they do to keep things moving fast mm -hmm. rather than taking 10, 10 years to make a game like they did with you know, Kingdom Hearts and 15. Right. I was going to say, I didn't like the uh, the drawing behind the logo this time. Um, the Phoenix versus the Dragon yeah. thing. Yeah, it just doesn't really... Uh, it's not... Look, they went to... Like, uh, where it looks like... It seems to like, have like this... That's, that's, to it. that's what I'm trying to get is I think Final, Final Fantasy 16 is trying to be Bahamut Lagoon. Right. Mm -hmm. To the modern day, and Kenton's probably going to go nuts on that right now. Huh. But Muhammad Lagoon is a very old Square game, Super Nintendo tactical RPG that dealt with dragons and stuff. But uh, I think that's what they're trying to pull on this. That's interesting. So you're, you, oh, the overall take is positive, though, for from you. Oh you like yeah, that? oh yeah. I like, I like, I, not for just my own reasons, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know, like you said, I think it's going to look better than it does because I think it looks kind of subpar for PS5. Yes, it does. It, it looks like it, it you know, uh, kind of, it looks worse than Final Fantasy VII Remake right now. Yeah, right now. We'll see how it goes. I think the yeah. combat, though, you're right. This, the Devil May Cry, like, uh, you know me, sadistic. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> what was the other one? Uh, oh. Witcher, it has that dark tone that the Witcher was going for. There's right, a few, right. there's a few sword techniques that the character in the 16 trailer is doing that is reminiscent of Geralt swinging a sword. And, and but then 
but then, like I said, the ju air juggling techniques is very, very devil may cry. Very devil may sure. cry. Which I don't uh, think is a bad thing if they're going for more action. I think it's the most exciting part of it for, for me. I, mean, I know you guys are much more. I've never been uh, the biggest. No, you, fan. you want to lose more people. I actually like the DMC game. Oh, dude, I think they're classic. No, 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 no. There's difference in what I'm saying. There's Devil May Cry series. Uh -huh. Then there's DMC. Oh, like the, the one that came out before. Yeah, like the one Warriors. where it's overly edgy and the punky, young, dark. Yeah, me too. They they I, love it. Rap, I love it. Me too, dude. I you and me really played that. Crap out of that. Uh, I, I, that control scheme was the best. It was. It so was. I, I don't know why they scrapped it. They went back to the uh, overly nineties, um, freaking Nirvana dudes. Just uh, these guys. Just this. They just listened to the Molly metal and swords. Huh? As long as they didn't go Seinfeld route. A sign? Oh. Yeah. Or high. So, Could you so imagine? My favorite part, part of uh, it would probably be. Awesome. I missed that. I'm sorry. The Highlander. Highlander. Oh, no. Yeah. Screw Imagine they started do, like, doing the lore, like merging with like some sort of Highlander lore. I don't oh. know. There was a Highlander game coming out years ago. Years mm -hmm. ago, they tried to put me in the. But it never, uh, never saw the light of day from what I understand. So, yeah. I don't know. Well, Get on that. Highlander. So Kevin's thinking it says uh, BL was like FF Tactics before FF Tactics. So I, I kind of got to now uh, yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll have to check it out after this is done. It's definitely. Yeah, when they say like the in the beginning of the trailer, the target is Shiva's dominant. And it's like, okay, so a dominant would be a... You know how in uh, in Ocarina of Time when you're in the Forest Temple and you have to shoot the arrows to light the things, but the ghosts surround you with like, and only the one that spins is the real one? Right. That's kind of what I'm thinking. What they're saying is that yeah, there's these representatives of Shiva that kind of look like her, might be ghost projections or whatever. Mm. But that's why the guy says, how will we know she, the girl will be, you know, or the girl will be there. I don't know if it's talking about the Shiva dominant and is the Shiva dominant, a human that's being bestowed this, the power, the or power, the, you, know, you know? Yeah. 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 So maybe she's the dominant, but then and we see, Boy, watch his dad or parent or something get get his head cut off. It looked like and blood splattered on the kids. So I was like, "Huh, okay, we're going Game of Thronesy now, a little bit more." But that that's how they always do their first trailers. Even fifteen had blood in it. We were like, "Oh man, they're gonna go gnarly with it," you know. But they pull that out, right? Toward, you know, ESRB ratings and all that stuff. Overall, I think it was. Um a successful uh, surprise. The guy that's talking in it, though, that says uh, the target is the you know the Shiva dominant. Yeah, I'm sorry. He looks like uh, the uh, the guy in 15. The uh, his yeah, bad ver his bad version was Cap uh, General Glauca, and okay, so that was his bad form. But I forgot what his he was the captain of the of the Kingsguard. Okay. Yeah, I, I forgot the same. Too. I kind of got the same feeling with the uh, with For those. Sure. It's got the that kind of brute kind of feel. Uh, it might even be the same voice actor. You know, I don't might know. Be. I mean, I, it seems like it fit pretty well. Yeah. Um, I gotta say, I was main. I mean, I, I mean, if you know me, I'm, I was. I'll probably. I think, where's that e the the Ignis thing? Uh, the remember the trailer of the red. Uh, that they put out or someone put out of the red mage running through a village like parkour style. And it was some, uh, it came from somewhere and I believe it came from somewhere internal at square, but the Agnes, I think is what it's called. Something, something Agnes. I don't is a tech demo you're saying or something like that. Yeah. I think that's what it was, was a tech demo. That's the only thing that I remember that sounds like that. Yeah. 
But what's ever going to come of that? Is that something that's going to tie into this new one? Mm, maybe. You know, I'm just I'm theorizing. I was interested in the I was interested in the Venom Rex so you, Kingdom Hearts. So I I thought um because they also showed Spider Man Miles Morales. I think that looked decent. Um, I don't know how much, I don't know how much I'm into that kind of gameplay, but uh, definitely looked good. However, I was most intrigued about uh, the remake of Demon Souls. Oh I yeah, I think it, I think it looks like the best uh, gameplay they showed so far. Um, it just sounds and just feels uh, top notch. It feels like it's up there. I think it's. Right underneath Ratchet and Clank. Have you seen Ratchet and Clank's uh, mm -hmm. PS5 trailer? Mm -hmm. I think it's right underneath that. I think it's Ratchet and Clank feels PS5, and then Demon Souls also feels PS5. Um, uh, there's one other that really seems like that too. But um, yeah, if you haven't seen that trailer, Jesus Christ, Demon Demon Souls looks like it's on another level. Uh, Ken's saying, let's see. Oh, 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 you just said. Jesus Christ, Demon Souls looks awesome. Yes. It's, it's just a funny, funny algamation of words. Oh, dude. Jesus is a part of everything uh, these days. Ken's <laughs> <laughs> uh, saying it's a square concept. I don't know if they've developed it, but yeah, it's like a machine gun willing people with face wraps, head garments. I know the similar bad guys in FF16 trailer. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was talking about with the Agnes. Uh, oh, okay. What's the oh, so tie? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The time. They had like they had like AKs in, in the it in I I'm that's all I'm gonna do. I can't describe it anymore. If y'all want to check it out, go check it out. Dude, it's it does look um pretty good. It, they, I hope the graphics do step up. Um because it's it doesn't seem PS5 yet. It seems like it's, it's um so there's this guy that made a a uh, an independent developer that made a very devil may cry ish battle system uh -huh. okay but he was making a final fantasy game that or a final fantasy style game he did everything by himself like the modeling the animation rigging you know 3d it looked like a modern devil may cry game right uh if i can remember what that was check it out you got a computer but i do believe he got hired by square shortly after they saw him put out some video about it. Really? And now that I'm bringing that up, it's making me think, holy crap, did they grab an indie guy to basically do their game design for <laughs> Final Fantasy 16? Yeah, maybe. Oh, man. I, I'm looking up the logo again. Oh, man. They went, way, they went bonkers with this thing. Um. Oh yeah, Lost Soul Aside is the name of the the game that I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Lost Soul Aside. Lost Soul Aside. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Apparently, the story is that developer made everything. So it was like, okay, cool. What's going on with it? And then checked it out, and it's like. And I saw this probably six months ago, maybe oh, seven really? months ago. Yeah. You sent me a YouTube video? Is that what you're yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Lost soul aside. But if I if I understand the rumors right, uh -huh. you know, he did all of that himself. And if I'm not mistaken, I think yeah, Square hired him based off of, of that. Off of that. Oh, Mikey showed up. Oh, what's Mike, up, Mike? Oh, Mike? Mike says Ghost of Tsushima was a great game, artistically saying. Great show, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's old Mike. You should hop on. Mike, if you want to hop on, you got a camera. Hop on. I'll send you a oh, link. Dude, if you do, I've got to get you added to my list of people I need for my trailer reactions. Because if you're not camera shy, no, your brother. I've got you at the top of the list. Oh. <laughs> okay, so... Kevin's bringing up Doom. I think we talked about it last time, or maybe we didn't get to. You did, oh, I talked about you it with did a reaction video, and I opened up today's episode by calling you on your knowledge. Oh, my goodness, dude. 
So I never really said, yeah, I, I read Dune and a little bit of uh, Children of Dune. That's it. Oh, I got you. I got you. I know. I know. I'm just. Well, now you know. Never have we ever talked about Dune. And That's just, what I'm saying. Now, you, now you know. I'm a. I'm not an expert. However, I. I am. I am a, a big fan of the book, uh, and I read it really meticulously, very over the course of like two months. So uh, I didn't want to miss anything. Just as long as Mike doesn't start going into Smallville stuff. Super Mario movies to release in 2022. What? Nintendo officially? Where did that come from? Man? They screwed up the first one. I don't think they screwed it up, man. Oh. <laughs> it, I wouldn't call it Super Mario, but it, it's some crazy movie that I like to. Uh, it's nostalgia. It's nostalgia. Right. Uh, don't know much about Dune, he says. Uh, saw the old movie. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a David Lynch movie, so it is an insane take. Uh, and they and they screwed up the ending, but uh, dude, this dude looks very desaturated as hell, like all the other movies. However, I think it's it's working because it's yeah. Very- but again, I've said this before. I think there's this element of design that people are going with, and it's the less is more concept. And I'm not saying it's wrong, but y'all start to sound like Steve Jobs, and the he did it once. And it, you know, it's gonna get old quick. What are you talking about? You're gonna have to stop being lazy, people. What are you talking about? I'm talking about design aesthetics. Oh, I think the design's good. I'm just talking about. I know, uh, I know, I know, I know. But the, you know, I'm just saying the less is more concept is being overused. It's okay. an excuse more than anything. Dude, I, I like that. Uh, I like that perspective. However, this is this is Denny Villeneuve. I know. I know. No, I, I, I wanted to see more in the design, but everything was dusty, low lit. Hmm. You know, I wanted uh, because, and, and the only reason is I love the simplicity it's going for, rather than that last movie that they did of it, because I thought the armor of uh, the Necrons or whatever they're called or were, was just hmm. goofy. I thought it was goofy. Yeah. I really do like the new look at the Harkonnens, which is the uh, the kind of enemy family. The feuding family. Uh, that's what I meant, not Necrons, but I think uh, yeah, the Harkonnens. Uh, they gave them like a very pale look because they don't have like a, it's pretty much they live on an artificial planet, so they're not getting any kind of light. But in the first movie on uh, David Lynch's movie, they gave him a lot of like red hair for some reason. Everybody's a ginger in the first movie, so <laughs> I don't know what was up with that. But um, now they're all bald and and white. And uh, something most people don't know is the. Uh, Skarsgård, who's playing the main uh, Harkonnen father. I don't know why I'm blank on his name. Anyway, that dude's like a he's a he's a pedophile, um, homosexual pedophile, dude. Oh, so, well, that, that's a hot word nowadays. So yeah. yeah. However, like it does make for the best villain ever made. Um, is a pedophile, homosexual, like deviant um, that also doesn't care about life and. Um, and just uh, you know, murders people. So that's uh, going to be a great villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, watch Tim Minchin's uh, "Only a Ginger." It's a great, great song. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nintendo has officially confirmed that Siguro Monomoto, who is the Shield Creator, Marian, is collaborating on the project. Really? Ooh, that's weird. He's starting to get into movies. He's going to be the new Studio Ghibli, Nintendo Ghibli. That'd be amazing. Oh, and check yeah. out Steve Hofsetter too. He's uh he's he's good too. Go up, but yeah, what's this uh Nintendo land that's popping up at Universal? Does any of this have anything to do with any of this? I don't think so, but I think they're branching out. You know, Japan, uh in Japan it's hard to get uh they turn like the Titanic, you know, it's like a very big, slow turns. And uh, they're finally getting with the groove of. Uh, I don't know if that was the best analogy. Why? Oh, because they crashed the and died. Yeah, because the end. Right. <laughs> <laughs> However, um, they were going to crash and burn before uh, or right after the Wii came out or Wii U rather. Yeah, and it seemed like they were slowing down, but now I they're branching. Really got that? I w- I thought the aspect of every morning you would wake up and play Assassin's Creed Three on it outside. I was like, dude, this guy's playing like an awesome, like 
graphical, like new age game sitting there outside. You know, it was what the mm -hmm. Wii, Wii U did technically was interesting. It's pretty know? cool. It was just like it was pretty much the prototype for Switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they should have just kept it as a prototype, waited mm -hmm. a little bit, and uh, got going. Oh yeah, I I agree. Um, Timothy Chalamet in the King, if you haven't seen it yet, is awesome. Go watch that if you haven't seen it, Jeremy. Uh, uh, it's also got uh, no. I think I did watch that. You watch Isn't Pat. You watch uh, big uh, the big war scene in the end with everybody yeah. in, in in metal and they you know in the mud. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it. That, that worked. Yeah. 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 I thought that would be great, great, great. Oh, thing. we're missing our banners, man. What am I doing? I don't know what you're doing, dude. What am I doing? Give me a banner. Back in studios, development stream on Fridays, 8 p.m. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. we're, well, we're going to be doing that episode. I think I mentioned it is that we were going to do a gameplay through like we did with episode 10. And it's just for anyone who shows up because the video goes private after that until I make a trailer. Mm. Uh, I believe is where we're leaning. So if you want to show up and see the condition that the game is in right now, which in our mind, there's, of course, we're still testing. We're still getting things done. But the initial finish is it's done. Calling so it, calling there's it. always little tweaks you can make an improvement. So we're yeah. trying to do a lot of that. But ultimately... Yeah, that feels great. So, uh, yeah, congrats, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, not that everybody knows this, but me and Joe kind of worked a pack together on both of our projects. We said by the time his comic book released, my demo was going to be done. Mm. And thanks, oh, yeah, to, you're pushing. thanks to Dwight, he's made it happen. He's made it happen, you know. So nice. Oh, let me get you back on the screen here. Hold on. Da, 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 da. There we go. So, yeah. And so if you show up to Beck and Development Weekly Stream, it's every Friday at 8 o'clock on YouTube. Check us out at, you know, Zade Studios on YouTube, whatever that link is. And, uh, yeah, check us out. See what's going For on. Sure. And, well, and it'll be I, a fun episode. I highly recommend going to it. Um I wanted to get to some other question I was going to ask you. Um, Shoot. Oh, wait. I wanted to show this, too. Let me share my screen real quick because I brought up the logo for FF16 just to show what I was talking about. Um, yeah, it's just two, two, uh, two summons fighting each other. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool looking, but it's but just going to be on much, the other bro. side of it when you beat the game. Huh? When you beat the game. Like in 15, it'll add another piece of artwork to the logo to I mean, you're like, oh, okay, now yeah. it's cooler. Now and I then like the, the, the new piece will cover the whole, the whole yeah. text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's what's cool. your, what's your I feel like I feel like get rid of the behemoth dr uh, dragon thing um, and uh, just leave the bird, you know? The that, that's what hints at me that it's more of a Bahamut lagoon. Oh, uh, okay. So it's like a. Um, is it more tactics? Is what you're talking about? No, I mean that, but that's the game they're calling out to, as far as a design. You know. Yeah, dude. I don't know what my favorite one is, but uh, for logos, you have a favorite of the Final Fantasy logos because Kenton says. Yeah, man, it lacks the humanity that the other FF logos have. And Final I, Fantasy X is... Ten is your favorite? I don't know. That's... I mean, seven is iconic. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Here's ten. Ten's pretty good. Um, it's, it's really big, but it actually works. Um, it's one of the bigger ones that I've seen. It, it, I just love Amano's work, and that's what a lot of that is. I think every logo is Yoshitaka Amano. Yeah, and I'm not against it. Um, seven's was nice because it's simplistic. Right, right, right. I liked eight. You know, I really, uh, I'm one of those weird fans that really liked eight. And I, yes, in my opinion, I don't care if the if the developer said it wasn't Squall is dead at the end of this one. Yeah. 
So Dude, nine is very unique though. But I love nine. Nine is incredible. Yeah. It has that charm. It has that cheeviness, and it played it off in a memory. Right, but I mean, just the logo itself is like way different than the others. Oh well, it's got the crystal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's way different than how they do a lot of the others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. They kind of stand. Um, if you if you had them in a the lineup, I the, thought I thought twelve was really cool because it used the Sumi brush swash. Let me look at that one. It's got Gabronth. Uh, the character Gabrant in it, and I think it used a Sumi brush swash. It was a vertical design, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's like he's on top of the logo. Yeah, with the swash. Yeah, I think that's actually one of my favorites as well. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen again and go through the few that I pulled up. Eight, ten, and thirteen. So, yeah, there's ten. Thirteens too. I I did like thirteens logo. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I Let's thought see. that was really cool. I'm actually a fan of 10 more than I thought. Seven's super simplistic. I think it's good for that reason. Um, oh, by 12. the way, 10's just one of the best ones there is, though. Blitzball is awesome, and I can't wait to, for life extension and for us to control spheres like that because someone's going to remember Blitzball. It will be a thing. Water polo is just the closest thing we got. Yeah, 8, 10, 13. I'm, I, I'm kind of a fan of 9 because it's so simple too, um, but yeah. uh, just logos. Anyway. I mean, the the, very, the first one, I think, maybe – is it the one that's got the Warrior of Light on it holding the sword? Which one? The Warrior – I think just Final Fantasy One, it, um, uh, and it might be the more recent design of it, but it's just got the Warrior of Light holding the sword. Yeah, I think that's the updated. Right? And three slash six has the Magitech engine being piloted by Terra. Yeah, um, dude. Yeah, my not my FF knowledge goes goes deep. Goes deep, and I don't mind talking about it uh, as long as I. Uh, like the ones that I have played, I'm way more. Obviously. When I went when I went to GDC, that's the that? year that uh, Sakaguchi got the Lifetime Achievement Award. So I was there for that. Then mm -hmm. they had a concert out here in Orlando, where uh, Nobuo Uematsu was there, and mm -hmm. I got to see him. And I've got him on my camera. Singing uh, the Sephiroth theme with the choir, it was cool. Nice, dude. That's awesome. I so, uh, I'm on my own pilgrimage of Final Fantasy. <laughs> and I've never been huge on. Um, oh yeah, uh, Lost Odyssey. Odyssey. It's always on the uh, periphery for me. Huh? Which was? Oh, we're past eight o'clock. By the way, we're just chat chatting now. Oh, That's okay. Good. Three minutes. That's my bad. bad. I jab. It's all good. No worries. Uh, what if I told you I've never played FF? Um, well, that's just as bad as Jeremy not even thinking about watching Mandalorian season then one. Then come to beckoned, uh, zaidstudios.com slash beckoned and follow us and hopefully you have a PC, <laughs> you know, and we'll get you a demo and you can play my version. Uh, Kenton's asking if I ever played a Lost Odyssey. I did not. So I've heard many awesome. a steal. Awesome game. Awesome game. I remember picking up the box and um, putting it down. But, <laughs> however, that's not because I didn't think it looked cool. I was just like, it's one of those things where like, new IP, are you going to take a gamble? Mm, you know. The writing is the writing's really good. And mm -hmm. the, uh, the pacing with how they, because they break it all up, being an immortal you know, and losing your memories. You've lived for a few thousand years, so there's these moments where it stops the action, just kind of narrate for you with words, but mm. words are animated. It's really intriguing with the way they pull a lot of that game off. So, And it mm. is made, it, it's also made by Sakaguchi with his, uh, his uh, when he left Square, he started a, a Mistwalker Studio. So uh, that's, I believe, who developed. Interesting. That one, yeah, dude, that's that's super super interesting because like, um, 
all the history. I, I know all the history for other things, but um, getting the history behind of FF goes deep. It does. It does. You know, and I'm a nerd over it. I couldn't, have, and that's Kenton's fault too. So, mm. so I'm gonna try to grab a screenshot of this sweet uh, screen. Like when I when I downloaded the new DLC for Blasphemous. I don't know. Did your screen update? Did you get to see the new DLC screen when you start the game? No. It looks legendary. Let me uh, share my screen real quick. <laughs> Like it blew my mind. I was like, "Holy, this is better than the most uh, screens that anybody really get to see." Um, let me share. I think their art is incredible, but I also think uh, I want to know how many people they got on that team. I'm just curious as a developer. Oh yeah, it's it's either a very small team that. Are very very talented guys where there are like there's a i don't know but they do so because their concept art and their pixel art is just on par oh yeah i i i mean there's i i talk about it in the review and you'll hear about it but their they, cut scenes are on par the direction of it, you know there's, there's a couple of moments there's only a few moments where blasphemous fails um and I don't like talking about them, but there, there's just a couple places where um, their art devolves into like um, they sacrifice animation for, you know, the pixel aesthetic. You know what I mean? Almost over rendered. Here, let me uh, share my. Hey, screen. if you're gonna be that technical, then you're gonna have to rip back in a new one too. Oh, of course. Great, I'm gonna love that. Why? Because. <laughs> I don't pose as a pixel art game. You don't pose as a pixel art game? Yeah, Beckon I don't I wouldn't call Beck into pixel art game. I wouldn't either. Yeah. So it's, it's just it's raster. Boy. It's raster. You know, I'll give it that. It would be better if it was made in vector, but it's true. You know. Who's joined the flower? Hey Randall, what's up? Randall is asking who's joined the flower. This is Jeremy, my buddy. Uh we went to high school together, and yeah. uh, he's making a sweet RPG game. Uh, but right now, he's doing a tattoo uh, design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, I'm going to show this this screen real quick. Yeah, yeah. Show your screen. Show my screen. Show the screen. So you see this? Yes. Oh, badass! That intro image is. Um, I, I, I have to see how the light rolls across the skull. Does the jaw move and the things in the background? Actually, I don't want to be able to play it. Let me see. There you go. There we go. Okay. Shut yeah. That's actually, I love the tilt of the head forward. That's something that they right? didn't have in the original one. Look see, how awesome the, see the elongation of the hair in, in the top of the crown when uh -huh. its head goes down? Like those little details I appreciate. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, and me like scrubbing through it like this is doing a disservice to like just the flow of the animation. I can't really play it because I, um, you know, it killed the machine, but I'm scrubbing. Anyway, it blew my mind. I was like, what? This is way worth, this is way worth like restarting the console for this. I, I found my t shirt of Blasphemous, their first t shirt run for, the, for their Kickstarter. So I just got to bleach it. It's a uh, it's a white tea and washed it in a well in well water that was pretty rusty, so mm. it turned kind of red on me. So now I'm in a new place that's on city water, so I will wash it with <laughs> and get it back to crispiness. Yeah, flowers coming out good, man. Um, feel like you're um, the middle. The, the I'm doing the middle. I'm doing the long way around to be honest. Uh, because I could simply do this number here da, 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 and inverse and then come back to there and just... Oh, I always prefer uh, coloring it the old-fashioned way. Yeah. I always feel like bad about like doing it that way. Something about... You have to go back and clean it up or you can adjust the selection to be a little bit smaller if your lines right. are thick. 
there's all kinds of cheese. I don't use um, super strong ink lines, so it doesn't really work for my sketchy style. Well, for for, for, for Star Circuit anyway. But so yeah, this this is a tattoo designed for a friend from back at uh, back in Kentucky, where me and Joe come from, and so. That's as far as I got on it today. <laughs> so for sure. Uh, next episode, I'll try to finish it up and get it going. Unless uh, I get a text from it that says, no, I need it now. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's definitely got a Beauty and the Beast vibe, like Cher saying. Ooh, I didn't think about that. I actually did one of those. I don't know. Uh, Mike's uh Mike's wife actually, I gave it to her. I did a, I did a beautiful. Oh beauty. yeah, I saw that. I saw yeah, that on that. the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really cool too. I actually really like that drawing of yours. Thanks. It's awesome. Yeah, because I was like, "Where'd you guys get that?" And he's like, "Oh, Joe drew it for me for my birthday, and I've got your Ninja Turtle, or mm. Raphael, or no Leonardo. Hold on, my bad. That's it. Yeah. Where's that at? That's." I'm sorry, I, I'm not ignoring you guys about the Batman uh, movie. Uh, I think we both agree it looks awesome. Oh, not, what? You don't like it? What? Oh, Twinkly Vampire's going to be stinking Batman. Are you kidding me? Did you even watch the trailer, dude? No, I, th <laughs> I think it looks awesome. I think we said that last time. Yeah, I know. Uh, we need to no, talk about it. It does look uh, cool. Jedi will start getting into the funk. <laughs> I was just joking, Jed. I... No, uh, Kenton likes it as well. I think if you don't think that looks decent, um, you got something something wrong. You got some, it was, you got some agenda. I, you know what? I do have an agenda. That that have you seen the uh, the lighthouse? I have not, but I really do want to see it. Check you it out. It? Yeah, I hear it's really good. Check it out. That boy's got that twinkly boy's got range. Oh yeah, dude. Did you watch his uh when he was a, a like a gangster and his retarded brother? Uh you mean R word? Be sensitive to the people. Okay. Um, well, I think I think he describes his brother that way too. Um, okay, well, you know, I think right. it's confusing for him. I heard a comedy bit that talks about this and says, you know what, they grow up. And they're, they, you know, they hear kids at school and they say, you're retarded, you know, and they, so they come back to their parents. They're like, Hey, why are these kids calling me this? And the parents explain to them, it's like, do you feel okay? And they're like, yeah, I feel okay. I was like, okay. So don't worry about it. But now everyone's trying to say it's bad word, like derogatory. And now it's like, uh, what do they get? Hey, we got to change it up again to a more complicated word. And guess what? They have a hard time probably catching up with that because well, they're, <laughs> Uh, that was the comedy bit I heard. You know, I don't, I don't oh. want to be so offensive with it, but it's like, yeah, we can't, we can't do that. This is this this constant. And I hope I get canceled, Sherry. Uh, but yeah, thank you for that um, dry. But <laughs> it was because like your your explanation of comedy it, comedy is not as good as the comedy itself. No, it's not. No. Not However, I do. I guess I'm not making fun of it. I'm just trying to explain it. I just can't remember what the movie's called, so um I had to describe it in some way and his mentally disabled brother gets okay. in trouble because he's mentally disabled. And uh that's the heart of the movie. Well, I've got to check it out. Yeah, what's that movie called, Cher? Uh, she watched it with me. Uh, Robert Pattinson. Oh, that Sherry. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. Wordy dirt. My bad. Cher, did you know, dude? No, I went to Hamburger Mary's one time, and Cher was also Reba McIntyre. So I was trying to make sure, you know, that just wasn't the same person. Yeah, Annihilation is good. They're asking about Annihilation with uh, what's her name? Um, Mortal Kombat 2. No, uh, Annihilation <laughs> with, with uh, Padme. What's her name? Uh, Natalie Portman. <laughs> yeah, with Natalie Portman, dude. Uh, so good. It actually was pretty good. It was kind of, uh, it's like half woke, just a little half woke, but with a good concept. Um, it's pretty much all the, all the buff military guys go in and get screwed up uh, into this like war zone. At this sci-fi war zone, and then the ladies have to go in and save them, um, which is slightly woke, but also turned out pretty decent of a movie, except for some of the ending. Anyway, Natalie, Natalie Nortman 
Yeah. Yes, Natalie Portman. Orange County. Wordy dirt. <laughs> Showing our age. No, that uh, Jedi's saying he loves when you say that. What's that, wordy dirt? Yeah. yeah. You're like the only person on the planet that says that. I know. It's okay, I'm switching banners up. You guys, let me do my little spiel on Star Circuit for the people that are going to watch this later. I'm sure. Dirty dirt, I'm, Christmas turn. Oh, yeah, know about this. I got a Star Circuit uh, comic book coming out. Uh, it does not have a um, Indiegogo page yet, but we are going to get there soon. If you go to StarCircuitComic.com at the bottom, you can see uh, you can sign up for the mailing list. I'm, I'm working. I got 60 names. I'm up to 60. So yeah. we're rolling. Um, hoping to build that bad boy up. I'm actually going to start doing um, this guy's uh, John Malin. He's doing a contest for his comic, uh, Indiegogo. And uh, I think I'm going to enter that and see where it takes me. However, uh, that's a new idea. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have time. Anyway, go to starcircuit.com or starcircuitcomic.com. I always do that. Uh, some, some asshole grabbed Star Circuit com and robbed me robbed me of my website uh you might want to check and see if that was kenton what who robbed me of my website yeah you might want to see uh joe i can promote it on reddit if you want i have a good following there do you uh please yeah. send it that way uh give them starcircuitcomic.com backslash sign up yeah. and that will that will That'll get them directly to the sign uh, sign up page. Oh yeah, Kenton's saying it's really good. God, it's good. Oh Lord, God, it's good. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, it is good. Um, thank you, thank you for that recommendation, Kenton. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giving it a go. I recently went back in. I was like, man, I don't know how much I have written of chapter two, and it's pretty much already written. So I'm ready to start art for it. Um, that'll be starting whenever I have a few minutes. Appreciate it. That well. Looks good though. Looks good. Flowers looking good. Um, yeah, I, feel yeah. like, I feel like time flew by this night. Uh, it did. So things to talk about. So many things. Not enough time. Um, you just need to go sign up for your free account for Disney <laughs> Plus <laughs> and go watch season one, dude. Uh, I don't even I don't even know anyone besides you. I haven't seen. I really don't know anybody else uh, besides you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Study streams. Um, I will be doing normal streams, which are me talking to other people, like me and Jeremy. I, I got other people lined up to talk to on other nights, but Art Bros is here to stay. Um, but yeah, I want to do more talk and, and feel things out, uh, maybe discuss art rather than do art, because I, I do art all the time. <laughs> so like when I get on stream, I kind of just want to, um, you know, talk about the world. And... It's kind of nice to have some places to hang out and chill. I mean, yes. and if we can get that through your all's company and support for just us giving you content to watch and goof around with, then that makes it all worth it. So, mm -hmm. it, and so, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to keep up this week, uh, show up at Zade studios on YouTube and we stream every, every Friday at 8 PM Eastern standard. Joe's going to be doing karate cause he's, you know, bros of Karata Pano. Karata Pano, dude. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and a lot of the guys that are here in our stream right now are regulars on uh, on Beck and Development Weekly Stream. So check that out. And uh, yeah, uh, it should be fun for this episode if uh, Dwight agrees for us to do a playthrough. Uh, not going to show you the ending again, though, guys, because uh, I'm also making a trailer. And that ending oh, cool. is back for the trailer. Oh, yeah. Uh, by the way, a, got a first draft out. But yeah, what's up? Oh, yeah. I'm working on one as well for Star Circuit. I actually got a guy doing music for me. If uh, you have any, not, well, okay, we, we need to get together for that because I'm, I'm hitting a couple roadblocks. 
But okay. yeah, we can talk about it. You have trouble with uh, music? I'm not. No, no, no. I've got songs. I just, it's execution. It, okay. You know, so more like uh, if I asked you things about uh, uh, Premiere or After Effects or something, I'd be like, hey, Joe, what do you know about this? So we'll have to do that later. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. So I can't wait to, well, I maybe have pulled a muscle, so maybe I'll be there Friday. Maybe I, maybe I won't uh, if I try to get on the, get on, get into the dojo. What'd you I, do? The uh, butterfly stretches, stretch your growing out too bad? Uh, no, I wish that was the case. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it always is. you always try to kick too high and you. Screw. No, I know that's what the butterfly stretches are for. <laughs> Well, it's kind of the other way. Like my inside of my uh, crotch area is good. Um, I think like uh, it, yes, yeah, the hips on the outside, like pretty much the muscles that attach to your butt. I pulled one of those. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All those, what are those. The uh, that's what they all say, Joe. Yeah. Right. Anyway, <laughs> I did it doing karate, man. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, we stretch a lot too. I stretch constantly um, and still pull muscles. Uh, well, we got yeah, it. Too, guys. Thank you for showing up, Germ. It's been yes, real. Sir. Thank you, guys. Because we got to talk uh, as if we were, we used to talk like this uh, forever. We'd smoke cigarettes and uh, talk all the time. Yeah, so it's fun though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah. Brian's my Wednesday. Boo, yes, yeah, cigarettes are boo. Don't uh kids don't don't do it. Look, cigarettes are fine. No, I'm that's you know what I say. No, no, no. Don't, don't vape either. Mm-mm. Don't 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 do any of that. Our bros, the show where we where we talk about pulling crotches. <laughs> that's actually Ooh, po- right. Yes, okay. I'm glad that's all right. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we're giving out good good knowledge here. Dispensary yeah. of wisdom. It's hilarious. Yeah. I um I'm glad we quit smoking. You more like the, we're more like the urinal cake of wisdom. Did we did did you quit <laughs> urinal cake? <laughs> I hope you quit smoking or I'm attempting to. That'd be I'm hoping you're there. I'm I'm you know. We'll get there. Get there. We'll get there. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll, maybe we can put out like one of those, uh, go fund me's to get you to quit smoking. Uh, nah, just, just support Beck and we'll be good. Oh, there. that's why you smoke. Yeah, yeah. Support Beck and we'll be good. Then a oh, little yeah. bit of stress to be relaxed off of me. And Thank you, it's guys. really responsibility, not stress. Kids don't oh, do it. That's what I mean. Don't do it. I'm working on doing, uh, I think I'm going to work on like a art bros intro that we have something to play at the very beginning. Our um, bros, do we need to do it together? And like, what are yeah, we doing? well, you can record it, record it, record it, record it, record it, record it. <laughs> right on. Uh, and I'll do you better believe there's going to be lightning and shit. So, oh, great fire! Bubba wanted to say hi. Bubba, let me bring him, let me bring him full screen. Can we do a uh, can we do like lightning and fire and maybe skulls aren't the right representation but so hi bubba it's right here i know i know i know right look right there that butt puppy puppy mcgruber let's do it mcgruber style dude i can go watch that again uh sweet mcgruber all right that's it guys we'll see you next week um Love you all for showing up. Yeah, love you all. Laters. Later, guys. Later, Jeremy. Right. Later. Later, everyone watching from home. It's been great. So we'll get it. We'll get it going next week too. I'll start doing the color and the light. All you guys show up for uh, for Beckon as well. Yeah, yeah. Show up on Friday, guys. All right. Check you all later. Have a good yeah. uh, Have a good Wednesday. Salutations, or is that how you say goodbye? Salutations. Mm, I think that's how you say hello. Oh, damn it. Uh, well, either way. Ciao, everybody. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Mignana.